What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE action figure news, man. Yesterday, we did have a brand new gallery posted up by WWE and Mattel to WWE.com, and it was pretty enjoyable, man. We have a lot of interesting things to dive into, and of course, we're going to cover it all here on the channel today. Should be a long one, man, so buckle the hell up. We're going to dive into all the WWE action figure news and talk about it here on the channel, give you all my personal opinions and all the different stuff. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, man, so let's start things off with something that I think is probably the most interesting thing that we saw yesterday and something that I didn't have any clue about kind of just it landed on us like a damn landmine man and landmines don't land on you by the way but it kind of came out of nowhere man it, it was unexpected but this right here man this is going to be made to order we have this made to order Mattel Creations exclusive WWE Elite LWO five pack yes a five pack right here now this five pack that you're seeing here of the LWO all the different characters of course we're going to break every single figure down of, of course here but this set is coming to MattelCreations.com November 9th through the 24th. Now you're going to have two weeks to pre-order this thing. It's going to be just like the Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition. going to be just like the Logan Paul Ultimate Edition. You're going to have two weeks to place your order here. It is going to be a five pack. I want to say, I, I want to say it was either $90 or $99. I can't remember. Maybe it was $100 on the dot. I can't remember exactly what the price point is. Or maybe I'm just making that up out of my brain. Maybe I didn't see it completely. But I want to say somebody posted that somewhere. But we are getting a made-to-order pack here. Now again, you're going to have from November 9th to November 24th to order this thing on MattelCreations.com. After that, it is gone. So, I mean, there's tons of tons of things coming to my mind immediately with this, but we'll get into that as we break down the set, man. Let's go ahead and look at everything that we're looking at here before we proceed. So, in this pack, we do have our WWE Elite pack. I mean, this is just a fantastic set. I mean, you get all of their shirts. You got the big box set. Remember, we, we've been talking about box sets. I feel like box sets this year have been the real big thing that Mattel has tried to get back to. Remember, I mean, we talked about that at San Diego comic-con meeting them in person and talking about it but this box set right here man you talk about some epic packaging this is memorable packaging right here man this reminds you of all the good old days right with all the classic packaging and all the different stuff this is a beautiful packaging but in this thing we do have Cruz del Toro we have Rey Mysterio Zelina Vega Santos Escobar and Joaquin Wild and this is a beautiful set I think each individual figure looks really good and we're going to go through all the different images of course break down each figure but this is something that came out of nowhere but let's take a look at every single figure individually man let's start off with the man Rey Mysterio. You guys see here, this is going to be a promo gear Rey Mysterio, which I really like because he's got like his skinny jeans on. He does have like, it does look like he has the John Cena shoes, but I don't know if that's going to work. Is that going to work in this instance? I feel like they may need a new mold. It looks exactly like the John Cena mold, but this is a like computer generated image. This is not the figure itself. They use this for the crowdfunder for the Nitro stage. This is like, this is pretty much like CGI kind of. It's like a photoshopped way of the figure being created. It's it's not realistic yet, or it's not created yet. I mean, they may have prototypes and stuff, but this is like a computer-generated image. But I really love the promo gears. You guys know I love promo gears. So this this Rey Mysterio looks great. I love the mask. I love all the tattoos. You get the removable shirt. Hopefully, hopefully all these shirts are cloth and not any of them are rubber. I, I pray to Jesus that's the case. But this figure looks really damn good. Loving the Rey Mysterio in the promo style gear. Tons of ways you can fix this guy up. I love the mask too. The mask looks so nice. I love the way the sculpt looks. The color colorations look really damn good. Santos Escobar, really great figure. Got to actually see him at San Diego Comic-Con, and this dude is a unit. I mean, th this figure looks great. We have an updated version. He's got his long hair, got the handsome face in there. Really cool gear. He's very toyetic as it is anyway. He's got his boots in there, all the different colorations going on. And his first figure was really great, but this one looks to be even better. He's got interchangeable hands going on. Outside of that, we also have Zelina Vega. Now, the Zelina Vega figure is very toyetic. Now, this is Zelina in her Puerto Rico inspired gear here, which was a big moment. I remember everybody losing their minds. She also has her custom high top Air Forces on, which is really dope. I think that's amazing. Hopefully, they'll do that for John Cena as well from his Mania match with Theory. Maybe they could do some different things there. You know, they of course won't put the swooshes on there, but that is for the customizers and the things to take place. And we're going to fix that figure up immediately when we get it to, uh, of course, add those swooshes in there. But this is a great looking figure. Head sculpt looks great. She comes with her big entrance flag, which looks amazing. Very, looks like this figure is going to be super poseable as well. This is a brand new shoe mold also. So maybe we can see that shoe mold in the future. We also have Cruz del Toro, which looks pretty damn cool here. 
there. He's got his t-shirt on there. You even have his necklace in there. They are using the Sin Cara torso on there, which is great, or the newly... I need to get in the habit of saying the AJ Styles torso now, because now I don't have to refer to it as the Daniel Bryan torso. They actually gave that man the updated torso with the Sin Cara. Now he has the AJ Styles torso, but this is a beautiful looking figure as well. Very toyetic. All these characters look very toyetic, and then you have Joaquin Wild in there, which also has his blue, pink, and gold. Very, very sweet all together, man. All the different patterns and the head sculpts and the torso choices and the parts. I really, really like this set, man. I think they have done an outstanding job on this. Now, a bunch of things could be said about this. I mean, where could it go from here is really what I'm thinking. Where do you go from here? Because I think that if these things are made to order and these things do really well, I mean, there's so many different things they could do with this, man. I mean, the, the sky is the limit, and I think this is only the beginning of things we're going to see. Hopefully, we will see more stuff like this in the future, and I think we will see more stuff like this in the future, and I think that this is a good way to get products out there because, you know, something like this wouldn't go to retail, and maybe we saw that with the Then Now Forever Together set and things of that nature, you know? But I think we are going to continue to see retail packs. You know, we have the Rocky Maya Via 3-pack or the Maya Via Family 3-pack, and now we have this 5-pack, which is just crazy, man. But I love box sets. I love this set. I think it's really unique. I think it looks awesome. I can't wait to see what the figures look like when they're finally done, but we had to start off the video with this because I thought it was so cool. But I'm just thinking of the future, and as amazing as this pack is, I, I am excited for future projects. Kind of like, you know, different crowdfunders. I'm really excited for the crowdfunders, and then I'm just thinking your head goes into fantasy booking mode. But this is a badass set. This is a, a great set here. Can't wait for, for these figures entirely. And I think they're going to look just as good as the render images, but we had to start off the video with that. Now we are moving on to the next figures, which is going to be WWE Elite 106. Now we're diving into a WWE Elite Series 106. Now this is very interesting because we knew about every figure in this set except for two of the figures. And who were the two figures, man? They were Jimmy and Jay Uso. We have the Usos coming in as the final two figures in this set. Now, these figures came out of nowhere. We have Jimmy Uso up first. Now, a lot of people are going to be weirded out with this figure. They have their own, you know, issues and things of that nature, which we're going to we're gonna break it all down here, man. So, let's go ahead and break down what we have here. We do have a new Jimmy Uso figure, and I like the hair mold. Now, you do get two different options here. You have, like, the hair down, and then you have the hair back, I guess, like a messy mid-match look. I don't as much care for the mat, like mid-match look. I do prefer the hair. We don't have, like, great images of it, but you can kind of tell what it's going to look like with the hair just sitting there. And I like this head sculpt. It's definitely not my favorite, but I think you may be looking at the better-looking Jimmy that we've seen in the past. And, I mean, this is a beautiful-looking red gear. We've been waiting on red gear Usos. I was, you know, when we first saw the images, I think we even talked about this a couple days ago. I said, you know, this could be the all-red gear, and sure as hell it is. Uh, look at it right here. I mean, we're looking at a recolored version, basically, of the Ultimate Editions. Now, you don't get the Ultimate Edition torsos of the butterfly joints and stuff, but you do get new head sculpt here. You do get the We The One shirt in red, and you get the red bloodline gear, and they even have their Ultimate Edition shoes on there, and they are elite figures. So, you know, that is also a bonus, and this is like the, the pinless jogger-style pants that they're wearing here with all their deco on there. Now, one thing that is weird about the Jimmy Uso is going to be the Daniel Bryan torso. Now, not only does Jimmy have the, the Daniel Bryan torso, but also Jay has the Daniel Bryan torso. Now, I don't know why they did this. I'm guessing that maybe, I guess their older torso, like the Matt Hardy style torso, is not compatible with this new crotch piece, but I don't know if this is a new crotch piece, so I don't know why you would have to switch that, unless they are, a, this is a new crotch piece that they're having to, you know, get made to fit in. Maybe they had to use the Daniel Bryan torso, again, I, I don't know, I wouldn't think so, but switching to the Daniel Bryan torso is a big L, I think. I don't like it, it doesn't work good for anybody, especially the Usos too, I think the Usos are perfect for that Matt Hardy style torso. I think Matt Hardy was perfect for that Matt Hardy style torso when they used to use it for him. And I think it could work for a hell of a lot of characters, but now, you know, you're not going to be able to do that here. And they have updated tattoos and things like that, so that complicates it. I feel like the tattoos sit a bit weird on Jay's chest. I feel like they're not as, like, symmetrical as they need to be, so that's also a little bit weird. But I do love the gear. I love the shirts. I like the head sculpts on these figures. I love the red sleeve. I mean, these are probably going to be figures that you grab a lot. I mean, if you put the shirts on there, is it the biggest deal of all time? I guess not, but they do rest shirtless and if you're wanting to you know have that shirtless look and do different things you may run into some problems but I don't know man it's just very weird it's very weird and I don't really care for the new packaging I know we've discussed this but don't really care for the new packaging but I do I am excited about new Usos I love collecting their figures I think that they have really good figures all, all over the place you got their white gear their black gear their red gear their black and red gear so anytime they give us Usos 
always in for those and collecting those you know getting new sleeves getting new accessories combining the different figures and whatnot getting on surgery stuff like that that will absolutely be a plan but I don't know man I, I like I'm excited for these figures but I think they could have been better in certain regards and you guys know they don't have shin cut it's just like one of those things where I'm, I want to be excited about the figure but there are flaws with them that I see and this is just me uh, getting all those different things out in the air I, I hate that it doesn't have lower leg cut we talked about that with the ultimate edition don't like the Daniel Bryan torsos and I feel like Jay's head sits on his torso a bit big now it looks like his head's a little bit big sitting on that torso and it's probably because of the, the torso change but nonetheless it could be all different when we get it in hand but I do like the red gear love the red sleeve think that's all bad a eh? but I am excited about these figures for different reasons but let's move on to the rest of the figures in Elite 106 we also have Sami Zayn now this is weird because we really never got a Sami Zayn in the bloodline and we skip kind of over that chapter like we don't really have a definitive elite of that I guess you could say it's the jackass forever version like with his match with Johnny Knoxville was that previous elite like the elite 102 but I don't think that does it because it doesn't have you know his bloodline it doesn't say Sammy Uso and then on this one it skips over the Uso and it's Zane but with the addition of all these packs that we're seeing maybe we're gonna see a bloodline pack I could absolutely see that maybe we're gonna get the Uso solo Roman and Sammy Zane in a big old five pack could absolutely see that coming maybe after the LWO or maybe coming up you know at a new pre-order date after the LWO you know maybe that's a thing maybe for next year they do a big bloodline pack and they fit in this Sammy Zane they recolor it and all that. Maybe that's in the in the pipeline and I just can't see it yet. Maybe they do a big Survivor Series thing with all of their Survivor Series gear or something like that. You know, we'll have to see about that. But this Sami Zayn looks really good. I mean, it's basically a repaint. It does have a new head sculpt though. And it's a really good head sculpt. It looks just like Sami Zayn. He comes with a t-shirt. He's got the black joggers in there. And of course, it is the Sami Uso, you know, gear. But it does have the Zayn slapped over it when he went back to Kevin Owens. The whole spectacle of last, you know, the last year or so. And uh, it's great stuff. It's solid. I still don't really care for this formula because they make his boots too big, but it's still a serviceable figure and all those different things. And, you know, you could head swap it and do some different stuff around with this Sami Zayn. But, you know, uh, if there's no Bloodline pack coming after this with Bloodline packaging and all this different stuff with Solo and Roman and the Usos and Sami Uso, of course, adding in there with just so much potential there for the five packs, I think that uh, it's going to be kind of bummy because we're not going to have that definitive Sami Zayn to put in our Bloodlines. But nonetheless, this figure figure looks all right and I think it's a solid addition here moving on next we do have both versions of Paul Bearer now he is the chase version here you have the black version with the paler skin tone and then you have the navy suit with the more natural skin tone or the non-pale skin tone which I think is pretty unique or at least on the face but I like the black suit you know we have this new torso body these new leg molds that we have going on here he looks super poseable which is cool and it looks like it's going to be a hefty figure to pose around with which is great I love the pattern on the tie that we're getting on both figures I like that you're getting two different kinds here here. The facial expressions are nice. I like the face makeup. These could be the best Paul Bearer figures of all time. I think they fit in really, really nice. You get two different urns there. And I like both versions. I am all in on both of these versions. I love it. I think the, the picture of him with his hands out, like kind of addressing something with that facial expression is super memeable. I think it's hilarious. So I love that. I, I don't know. I just think that looks great. But both versions of Paul Bearer look really good. I'm actually really happy for this. And you guys can see he can hold the urn even though he has this like larger torso. So I think that's also really awesome, but I love big figures. I like the way they're going to feel in the hand. It's going to be hefty. He's going to be lefty. It's going to be great. This Paul Bear figure is looking pretty damn good. We also got to see Elite 106 Roxanne Perez, and her figure looks pretty good here. I like this figure. I like the the gear. She's got the stripe gear with like the paint splatter. It's kind of like referee inspired, and then she got into a paint fight. Kind of like a referee got into a fight with some MDT paint or something like that. NXT Championship looks really damn good. The head sculpt's not the best in my opinion. I don't think it's awful, but I feel like it, I don't know, the some of the, I think it's the the print technology or something, but this is a new NXT Women's Championship here, like resized, and it looks really good, and the colorations look good, and I'm sure this figure is going to be super poseable. Newly sculpted boots, which we asked them about back at San Diego Comic Con, so this looks pretty damn good. I, I'm excited for it. I'm excited to add new characters into the women's roster. You get the new sculpted boots, and look at that right there. Is that new? Did they add brand new feet to this? That doesn't look like the basic feet from San Diego Comic Con. Did they take my criticism into consideration? 
I can't tell from this juncture, but we'll know when we get that figure in hand, and I'll definitely be running the interview question in that review, but this Roxanne Perez looks pretty damn good. We also have Chad Gable, and this figure looks so good, man. Look at this head sculpt. He's got his shoe shirt. He gets his peace signs. He's got his one pointer finger. Mike holding hands. Great looking gear. Boots look good. Very poseable looking figure. Super excited for the Chad Gable. I think he looks so toyetic. I like the head sculpt going on here. He's got his handsome haircut in here. Looks like he's gonna suplex mofos all over the ring. Great looking figure here, man. I'm really, really impressed with the Chad Gable figure. I am looking forward to this so much. I love the way his boots look. Just all the contrasting colors and the way the figure looks and the head sculpt. They did a fantastic job on this and I love the way the shirt looks on the figure. So I think I all just a round of applause for the Chad Gable. I think even the like shoe shans or the, the peace signs that he's making look very natural. So I think they just did such a good job on this figure overall. But that, that that's a fantastic little wave right there. I'm looking forward to that wave a lot. And apparently 105 is shipping. WWE Elite Series 105 is shipping. So Johnny Gargano Syndrome should be arriving any day now. And we shall, of course, put those up to you guys and cover it. But not only do we see Elite Series 106, but we also got to see the new Amazon exclusive WrestleMania 10 ladder match WrestleMania 2-pack elite set with Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels. Now, we did see this back at San Diego Comic-Con. We covered this a little bit here, but we did have a new photo gallery, and I don't think there's anything new about the photos. It does look to be the same stuff, but it's very weird how we just addressed our Shawn Michaels figure in our Survivor Series review. If you guys missed that video, definitely check out that set review. We dive into the lore of Shawn Michaels and his elites and, like, the different leg molds and all those different things, and then we're kind of seeing that play out here, how it changes and it's different, so yeah, you may want to go back and check that out and compare it here. Now, it's just odd the way they do these things, but I mean, this is serviceable. I mean, you're getting like a repaint razor, you get a new head sculpt, and you do get pretty much the same Sean we've seen before with the flashback exclusive, but he does have double jointed arms. They're kind of updating him there. It's not perfect figures by any stretch, but the packaging is beautiful, and this may be a set that I leave men on card. I, I, I'm not a men on card guy most of the time with WWE figures, but we will see. We'll definitely see here, but I do love the packaging and things of that nature. Next up, we do have the Greatest Hits Elites. Now, we've already seen these as well but I do want to run through them really quick like because we got like new images of them. Love the Scorpion King rock. It's kind of a great, you know, this is the greatest hits. They look just, this packaging just looks so weird to me. It, it like, that. I don't know, but I never got this Scorpion King rock, so I'm most definitely going to be getting this one. Missed out on that one greatly, so I am happy to get the Scorpion King. Another opportunity to get that figure. Lots of new and unique things going on with that figure. We also have John Nada with double jointed arms. Have a lot of this figure, but picking it up with double jointed arms is going to be a nice addition, but it is a cool figure, and you know, if you missed out on these figures is a really great opportunity and a chance for you to get your hands on these figures, so I do recommend it. We have Beefcake over here looking pretty damn MDT-like with his zebra print and his yellow and pink world title. I know a lot of people actually want that silver version of that World Cha Tag Championship, so I know a lot of people are going to be wanting that one, but that was one that wasn't released too, too long ago, but I know some people are going to be happy to get that back in their collections. A complete whiff on a Seth Rollins right here. Uh, I think they're 0 for 2 on the Seth Rollins and the Greatest Hits waves, but the Shield Seth Rollins is the one that I did not one, but he does come with the Penny Tag Championship. He does have double jointed arms. Weird looking head sculpt. It was a weird time. It's the Elite 33 Rollins, I think this is, with the hair down. Just the last figure that I would have ever expected in this way, but we've kind of talked about all of those different things, but we do have newer images here of the figure. We also have R-Truth, which is a pretty cool figure. I like that you have the new gloves and say what's up, shirt and necklace and mic and all those different things. It's a pretty cool R-Truth figure, and a, I don't know, I like this figure a lot. I like the original. I, I do own the original of this figure, so I do like the way we're going here. I like the molded glove and stuff. Really updates the figure there with our truth And then we do have Typhoon and Earthquake to round out the set here. And we saw these back in the Walmart exclusive TNF era of Elites. And uh, they were pretty solid. I remember selling these figures. Uh, I've talked about it on the channel before, like selling off a lot of my flashback figures to kind of garner up a, a little bit of change that, that we could uh, start the MDT channel, kind of. And that was like right before I started the channel. So, you know, I, I am looking forward to putting these guys back in the collection and stuff. They have nice arms on them. They look good. I like the head sculpts and stuff like that, so adding those back in the collection will be nice. I think they're nice with the, you know, the updated joints and what have you. A lot of people missed out on those figures back in the day. Now, we also had some basic figures coming in here, and they are very interesting. We have the Top Talents basic figures here, man, and these figures could not be more plain Jane if they wanted to, man. Starting out first, we do have the Rock figure. I mean, at least it's cool, like a newer graphic. I mean, this shirt is giving me Texas Longhorn vibes, but this, uh, this head sculpt has been used so many damn times. I'm just so sick of it, but it is the newer basic articulation and things of that nature, but I'm sure this figure will sell like hotcakes. All the top talents like basics and stuff with the newer articulation. I know a lot of people are going to want their hands on it, but the Rock figure 
is what it is. It's just a standard rock basic figure. The Undertaker is the next figure, and this head sculpt's pretty solid. You know, it's a run-of-the-mill Undertaker basic figure here, and it does have the newer articulation and new basic stuff going on with it, but yeah, I don't think it's going to set the world on fire. I don't think you're missing out on anything unless you want to grab this for, you know, fixing up figures. I want to say this is the greatest hits Undertaker Elite head sculpt, if I'm not mistaken. It could, I could be wrong about that, but I want to say this is that, like, greatest hits Series 1 Elite like, 14 redo or whatever head sculpt or Elite 8 redo head sculpt. I think it was Elite 14 that they used in that greatest hits Undertaker figure in that one wave. And I think this is that head sculpt or it could be slightly tweaked. And then lastly, we do have Seth Rollins. Now, I don't know why they went with the Thanos version or the, you know, that SummerSlam 2017 gear, or 2018 gear. Very random pick, I think. And then they gave him the brown hair and this head sculpt that's been used so many times. I, I really don't know why they went with this version. I, I really couldn't tell you why. I don't know why they would go back to this. I don't know. Like, I don't know. It just seems, it just seems random to me, but you know, who am I, Brad? Maybe that basic did really good and they wanted to put it out into rotation or something like that, but I just thought that was a weird choice to add that Seth Rollins in there. You guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. But we also had some newer basics coming soon that are not these, like kind of repeated, but they are going to be Sami Zayn here. Now, now, this is a really cool Sami Zayn basic for a lot of different reasons. Like, first of all, this head sculpt looks really damn good. I don't know if it's going to be the Elite 106 version or not, but this is his wrestling mania gear i'm pretty sure where he does have you know the nod to pwg like it even has their logo on there and everything like that i think that is so badass and i was actually there for this matchup so maybe we're gonna get a kevin owens to match i would really like to see an elite of this to be honest with you but it's still so cool to see them actually make a figure paying tribute to pwg in action figure form i think that's awesome so i think that is a really clever thing that they did there but that is not the only figure that we have we also have a new walter or gunther basic and i really like the tour torso on this guy. It kind of looks like that old Lars Sullivan torso, which is interesting, but head sculpt looks good. I think that, you know, this is going to be a basic that people want to search out. I mean, if you got the new Elite, maybe you don't need it, but it's still, yeah, I think people are still going to want the figure for sure. People do appreciate a good Gunther figure. We also got to see the first time in the line Tiffany Stratton figure, which I thought looked pretty good. I think the head sculpt looks good. Really like the gear with like the light grayish silver and white, and then you have the light pink, which I think is really awesome, so Stratton is looking really good here. Uh, I mean, again, this is our like computer generated so it's really hard to tell exactly what you're getting here but I, I think for the most part you can kind of tell where it's going to lean and you know with the new articulation and stuff it's it's going to be all up in the air until you actually see the figure on display or you see it in a display you know a detolf or you see it uh, at a show or you get to see it in hand or a video or whatnot it's really hard to judge these figures based on the render images but on the on the on the horizon this figure does look nice and then we also get two different versions of Ludwig Kaiser standard and chase edition revealed you do have like the navy edition and then you do have the red and black edition now i do like both of these i feel like the head sculpts are pretty solid for the most part i feel like the head shape looks a bit odd at certain angles and stuff like that but you know it does make you wonder where the next member of imperium is right like where's our giovanni figure at maybe he's on the horizon or maybe he's in the pipeline to be made or something like that we'll have to see but i feel like his head shape on this ludwig is a little bit weird you know but you know that we do get a kaiser and we get you know we get two members of imperium there but we're going to have to find out exactly what, you know, the case is later. But the last basic that we have here is going to be Kane. Now, this is very odd for obvious reasons. This is going to be your newer basic articulation and stuff, but we just saw this basic. I mean, it's been a while now. I mean, it's been probably two, three years maybe now, but I saw this Kane basic not too long ago, and I remember it getting absolutely dunked on when that Kane figure was shown off, if you guys remember. But this one looks very similar to that Kane figure that got dunked on, and a lot of people were, were commenting on this figure asking, what the hell is this oof roof head make this an elite this should have been an ultimate uh, i didn't know kane was curvy like that all these different things and then he also does have his gloved hand but again these are like computer generated or whatnot but i do remember that kane figure a while back getting dunked on and so this figure right here reminded me of that heavily but that is our basic series 145 i think is what it is and then we also had some superstars figures which look really damn good man check out these superstars figures we do have the hulk hogan figure now i do believe this is walmart exclusive i don't know if all these are walmart exclusive but I do believe the Hulk Hogan figure is with the Superstars figures. You do get the black shirt and the black pants, and then you do have the Chase edition, which I do believe is in the blue, and then you have the regular edition in the red, and both of these are very toyetic. I love the mutton chops and the mustache. Very great looking figures here, and I, you guys know that I love the Superstars line, so Superstars figure look great, and then you also have Andre the Giant in there, which is a two-in-one. He's got different hair piece. He's got his singlet. He's got black, interchangeable black boots, so you can go from the blue version to the black version. He comes with a world title. So. This Andre the Giant is like one of my favorite Superstars figures. I just think it looks so great, and seeing it in person looks massive. I like the stubble on the beard. These figures are just super
super fun, man. And I like both modes that you can interchange there. I mean, it is absolutely a full two-in-one figure, which is great. You could probably even morph it into a three-in-one if you got creative enough. And then you do also have Doink, who has an awesome entrance jacket. Great-looking figure here. Doink's very toyetic and stuff, so, you know, he looks great. Men on card, all these figures look great. Head sculpts look really good on these Superstars figures. So, the Superstars line is just one of those figure lines that is just awesome. It's just so awesome. I wish they weren't the price point that they were. I'd be a lot more, like committed to the brand but I do pick them up time to time and like dabble in those and stuff I do have like the first set and you know I'm trying to make up the set little by little if I can you know knock those out but it's just one of those lines that kind of got away from me because I didn't find them all at retail one after the other and I wasn't going to go out of, out of my way to like you know pre-order and be super anal about it so nonetheless we are wrapping things up here with this new line here and I can't remember what they're called they're they're called something weird but we do have these like little bendy basham figures they're not bendy bashams but you have Roman Reigns you have John Cena the Rock and you do have Seth Rollins. I really like the Seth Rollins and the Roman. I mean, they're all fine figures, but they come with these little accessories, and they can beat the hell out of each other. I just like the gear that the Seth Rollins figure has. And another thing about that fan takeover Seth Rollins, we have not seen that fan takeover Seth Rollins. We don't know what the hell won the won the fan vote, but this looks to be the figure that did win the fan vote. I swear to Jesus, if it ends up being a shield Seth Rollins, I'm gonna have to fight everyone that comments on this video if they give us an Ultimate Edition sealed Seth Rollins. Unless they just completely knock it out of the park and make me shut the hell up and I just have to eat crow on that one I gladly will I just am not looking forward to a shield Seth Rollins ultimate edition so hopefully it will be in that orange gear there but those figures are pretty cool I, I had a lot of fun looking at those and seeing what you know you're going to be able to get out of those but I do believe that was every single bit of WWE action figure news that we saw yesterday man again a big gallery was posted and it took me a while to gather all my thoughts and stuff and with my busy schedule I did plan to upload this on Friday morning for you to start off your day hot with some fresh off the press WWE action figure news here, man. But I want to know all of your thoughts on these things down in the comment section below. Really excited for the five pack. Thought the Elite 106 figures look pretty damn good for the most part. Of course, do have my issues with those Usos, and we're going to dive into that when we get them in hand. But Elite 105 should be arriving soon. We'll, of course, review those. And, of course, more horror content coming. Surgeries in the plans. Lots of other things coming soon for you guys. But that is pretty much going to wrap the video up. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to the patron supporters of the MDT YouTube channel. Last week, has been absolutely hell for me as far as sickness man I got I got just blasted from every angle with sickness and so I think it was like two full days on the channel without a video or maybe it was like two and a half days or something like that which is something I don't think has ever happened on the channel since I started I don't think uh maybe outside of one occasion maybe but um always appreciate the supporters of the Patreon members of the MD2 YouTube channel man but that is going to wrap the video up. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will catch you guys in the next one. Leave me your thoughts down below. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you later.